All right, this is what we're going to make today. Uh, I've got an old Honeywell uh, thermostat, like you would find in any house that runs the air conditioner. And this is uh, just an outlet. And so whatever you plug in to this outlet is going to be controlled by this thermostat. And the way it's hooked up, it really only works to help cool the room. I've got a wall air conditioner that has a thermostat on it, but it never turns the fan off. So I'm going to hook this up to that and use it to control uh, the air conditioner. And as you can see, as you turn that thermostat down, it turns on the air conditioner. So, um, you know, uh, when you're making this project, be really careful. I'm not an electrician. I'm not an expert at this. So, you know, realize you're working with wall voltage here. So um, you do need to be careful and use your own judgment and, you know, do this project at your own risk. All right, let's get started. All right, this is our box, and it's just some half-inch MDF, and I glued it all together. Um, this is some uh, blue on on the ends. You know, it's just a box. And then I've cut a hole out here um, and drilled a hole for our thermostat. This is going to be where the uh, outlet will go, and the thermostat will go here. We're going to get those mounted first. Here's our... Uh, thermostat and um, zoom in on that a little bit. I originally had hooked this up to the yellow and to the red and when I got the project <laughs> completed uh, I realized yellow and red would have done would have worked for a heater but not for the air conditioner. So uh, you actually need to hook this up to red and to green and then that will that will uh, s the, use the thermostat as a switch to control your air conditioner. All right, and then we're going to put this, we're going to mount this in here. Now, notice that I have taken a square and I drew a line on here that is square to the bottom because these thermostats, um, I'll show you later, but they've got a, they use a mercury switch in here and it, they have to be level. So to use this, you're going to need to set it on a level table, and so then the bottom will transfer to here. So um, we've put a, I've put a line on there, and then your thermostat's got some little marks here and here to show you where uh, level to put it on that line. So you just line those up, and then we're going to screw it down. I've already put a couple of little pilot holes in here. Okay, that's good. All right, and then while we're here, we can go ahead and put, what did I do with the thermostat? Here it is. We can go ahead and get this on here. Okay, that's on there. This is just the cover. Okay, so now we'll come to the back and start getting this wired up. So really our thermostat's just acting as a switch on here and we need something. The thermostat um, cannot switch your load, whatever it is you have plugged into this. So um, I've got a relay that we're gonna use to switch the load. So um, this, this one happens to be, it'll do 10 amps at 240 volts or, or 120 volts uh, AC, which is you know what you would plug into. And then the coil, which what makes it flip back and forth, is uh, 28 volts DC. Okay, so um, I've okay. So the 28 volts DC is what I need to switch with the thermostat. When the thermostat, when it gets to a certain level, I want this to come on when the room gets too hot. So. When the room gets too hot, it'll switch it, and it'll send um, voltage to that coil, which will then trigger and turn our outlet on, okay? So, in order to run this relay, I need a DC source, which is about uh, 28 volts. So this is actually a 30-volt power supply, 
that puts out 0.83 amps so that should be fine for this so I've cut off the uh, power cord and I've cut off the leads that used to have a little jack you know where you would plug it into whatever piece of equipment this came off of so all right so the next thing I need to do is get these ends ready Going to crimp an end on here. And I could solder these on to my relay. But I'd rather I'd just rather do this. Okay, so this is what's going to control my coil. And on this relay, <clears throat> you actually see in here, and you can see that these two control the coil. So I'm going to put this on one side, and then I'm going to send this to the thermostat on one of these lines, okay? And then when it gets too hot, it's going to send the current right back, and we'll attach that to the other side of the coil, and that'll energize our coil. All right, so I need to take one of these, and hook it. The other side of the coil okay. just like that and then I need to join these two together and I'm going to do I'm going to solder these together Now I need to insulate that, so I'm just going to take some black tape. So that's got the low voltage side of what we're doing done. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we still don't have power for our um, our uh, transformer here that gives us our uh, 30 volts to run all that. And we don't have power in here that's going to run the air conditioner that we're going to plug into this. So we need to get that done. So here is a power cord. This is just an old extension cord. It's a 16 uh, gauge. You can usually see the numbers on the wire. Um, it's a 16 gauge and 16 uh, gauge will run uh, more than 10 amps. And my Remember, our relay will only do 10 amps, so this this should be a plenty heavy enough cord. I've drilled a little hole in the side, and I drilled that hole just big enough for this exten extension cord to come through, because what I'm going to do later is I'm going to put a wire tie on it, and if you get that on there tight, you won't be able to pull it back through the hole, and that'll kind of give us some stress relief there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is get this wired up. I'm going to strip this back a little bit. And I'm going to put some solder. I wouldn't have to put any solder on this. It just gives, turns what's... Um, this is liable to kind of fray on me a little bit when I try to screw it down. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little solder on it to make it a solid wire. Okay, now I need to bend that in a shape that I can put around a screw. So I'm just going to bend it into a loop. That's my ground wire. So I'm going to put it on the ground wire of the outlet. And when you wire an outlet, you want to put, always put your loop that way because that way as you tighten that screw down it draws it in. If I looped it this way as I tighten it down it would actually kind of push my loop out. Okay so that's done. Now the silver is the side that you put the white wire on.
Now the the black side goes on the gold the, the black wire goes on the gold side of our terminal. But um, this one we want to switch. This is what's going to turn on and off our, our um, air conditioner. So um, on our relay, okay, so you can see right here, okay, this terminal feeds this white wire, comes in the bottom, and now it's this piece that runs up and down, and it is actually touching over here. It's touching this terminal, which goes up to here. So that is the normally closed side of this relay, meaning without energizing the coil, I have a connection from here all the way over to this terminal right here. When I energize the coil, it's going to pull this this way, and this reed is going to come over here and touch this one. So then this one will be attached to, um, well, it will be attached to this terminal right here. Okay. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to attach our power coming in to this one right here. And then we're going to bring it out over here into our outlet so that when the coil energizes, our black wire will go from here all the way out and out into our outlet. The other thing is we also need to energize this all the time. So I've got to get, when I attach to that, I need to also bring this in. So I'm going to let's see, I'm gonna, uh, there we go. Okay. It's one side one side of the power to my transformer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and join it to my black wire like that and then we're going to put a crimp connector on there okay it's on there good and tight Okay, so right now, without connecting this to anything, I've got my black wire from my power, when I'm going to plug it into the wall, it runs to one side of my transformer. So then if I connect the other side of my transformer to the white wire, then my transformer will be powered, and I'll be through power in that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So my white wire is here, and that also connects to this screw over here. So I can I could either put it on this screw or this one, and I'll still pick up the white wire. Okay. All right. So that's got power because when I plug in, when I plug this extension cord in, I have a white wire going to my transformer, and I have the black wire going to my transformer. Okay, so this is running, which will then run all of this over here. Okay, so the next thing we've got to do is get power. We've got, we've got the white wire coming to our outlet. The next thing we have to do is get a black wire coming to our outlet. Okay, so we're going to use one of these terminals right here. So this is the power is going to come into the relay right here. That doesn't fit real tight. If you ever have these that are kind of loose, just push them down a little bit, just a little bit. And that'll tighten them up. Okay, so now that's nice and tight. Okay, so um, I'm coming in here, and so I want to I want to come out on this one right here because that one will give me the normally open, meaning when, the, when it energizes the coil, it'll close that connection and send power over here. So now I need a piece of wire to do that with. All right, so I found a piece of wire. And... Okay, and I need a piece, and it's gonna need to go from here over to there, so probably about 
that long probably ought to do this. Okay, so again I want to come out right here. So I'm going to slide that terminal on right there. Then we're going to take this and bend it. To go on here. We'll go ahead and tighten this screw down to get it out of the way. We're not going to use it. Okay, all our connections are done. So now we're going to go ahead and get this screwed down. And we'll fit this through the hole like that. Okay, we'll flip this over. Put that in there for a second. Let's get this put in place. Okay, so I need a couple of pilot holes. I want to try to get this pretty straight. So there's our thermostat and our outlet. Okay, now here in the back we got to kind of make make sense of this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue that relay down. I'm just going to take this relay and hot glue it right here, and then we'll let this transformer just lay in here like this. And then we've got a back uh, that we'll put on here. So we'll uh, be back in a minute as soon as this hot glue gun gets hot. All right, so I got the back and I've drilled the holes in it. I just came over one inch and up a quarter inch because that's half the thickness of this, the quarter inches. Okay, let's go ahead and get this glued in. So I'm just going to put a little glue on it and stick it down. Okay, so that'll stay there. I need more hot glue. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to put my remember my wire tie on this. So I'm going to mark this right here. <laughs> well, I probably should use a marker. It's got a little marker in it. Okay, mark that right there. That's where I want to put my wire tie. And then I can sneak it out. it back and you see it stops right there so all right so our relay is glued in we're going to put our transformer in there put our back on let's see now on this uh mdf it's important to pre-drill these holes because otherwise they're going to split out on you especially this near the edge. And you want to drill in it with a hole that's just a little bit smaller than the screw. So it'll still grab, but won't split out of it. Okay, I'll be back in just a minute and we'll test it. All right, so here, uh, we've got it plugged in. We've got a night light in here so we can watch it and Let's see if you can see that dial. Let's zoom in here just a little bit. Okay, so as the as the needle turns, so we want it to be cooler. That turns on whatever we've got plugged in here, which is going to be our air conditioner. Okay, so this will run our air conditioner until it gets cold, and then it'll shut off. Now. What I wanted to show you about the importance of it being uh, level, whoops, i got to leave that in there. The importance of it being level, see, if you have it off level, the thermostat's not going to work exactly right. But anyway, that's our, uh, our thermostat controlled outlet. Thank you for watching.